good morning students in the last class we read how aram and murad enjoyed riding the horse together uh, but somehow when aram tried to ride it all by himself he could not manage it and fell off the horse however his cousin murad is a skillful rider and manages the horse very well and when he perceives that aram is a little unhappy about the horse he like a big brother calms and pacifies him by assuring that he is still a small boy and he will learn to manage when he grows up so aram feels relaxed and in the satisfaction of riding the horse the next day he returns home and eats a hearty breakfast hearty breakfast he has a good quantity of breakfast uh, now let's continue reading further we start from page 6 the last fourth paragraph that afternoon my uncle khushraf came to our house for coffee and cigarettes he sat in the parlor sipping and smoking and remembering the old country then another visitor arrived a farmer named john byro an assyrian a syrian who belongs to assyria assyria is in the north of iraq presently or you can say the south eastern turkey he belonged to syria and who out of loneliness had learned to speak armenian now this poor man he he had none from his homeland there nobody knew his mother tongue so he had adopted the language of the armenians my mother brought the lonely visitor coffee and tobacco and he rolled a cigarette and sipped and smoked and then at last Sighing sadly, he said, "My white horse, which was stolen last month, is still gone." Sighing sadly, he was very upset about it. He expressed his sorrow, his misery, that he has he had lost his horse last month, and till date he has not been able to find it. I cannot understand it. So he is showing his helplessness. He says he is too confused and perplexed where the horse has disappeared. my uncle khusro became very irritated and shouted it's no harm what is the loss of a horse haven't we all lost the homeland what is this crying over a horse now uncle khusro as usual speaks his cliched statement but this time there is an addition of words haven't we all lost the homeland now these words reflect his own agony his pain when he says haven't we lost all Uh, the homeland his words here they reflect his heart ache the ache on losing their homeland and now settling here he is trying to actually convey here that this loss of their homeland is much greater than the loss of the horse so he says what is this crying over a horse that may be all right for you a city dweller to say john byro said but what of my sari what good is a sari without a horse a sari is a four wheel carriage which is driven by a horse so he says that my sari is lying without the horse pay no attention to it my uncle khushraf road i walked 10 miles to get here john byro said you have legs my uncle khushraf shouted my legs left leg pains me the farmer said pay no attention to it my uncle khusrof road that horse cost me 60 dollars the farmer said i spit on money my uncle khusrof said he got up and stalked out of the house stalked out he moved out of the house in anger slamming the screen door slamming you know shutting it with a bang shutting it forcefully and he went out now these words you know uncle uh, khusrof is again very aggressive and he moves out but if we look at john byro this poor farmer is just trying to speak about his sorrow he is trying to share his misery uh, his miserable condition with the people the problems that he is facing because of the horse but uncle khusrof remains unaffected rather he shows his aggressiveness so now students do you think 
this proves that uncle khustof is a hard hearted and a very callous person the way he conducts himself yes the way he conducts himself does show that he is a hard hearted person he has no emotions actually it shows the way he said that we have all lost our homeland it shows that uncle khustof has also suffered many adversities in life and these misfortunes of life have made him very hostile very aggressive and even impassive means he is not affected by these little things my mother explained he has a gentle heart she said it is simply that he is homesick and such a large man so now the mother supports she endorses that this uncle khusrov though behaves in a very aggressive manner he is a very generous man he is simply homesick and such a large man large man means he's got a large heart he is a very generous man the farmer went away and i ran over to my cousin murad's house he was sitting under a peach tree trying to repair the hurt wing of a young robin which could not fly he was talking to the bird it shows that he was a animal lover he could manage the horses now he was talking to the birds what is it he said the farmer john byro has said he visited our house he wants his horse you have had it a month i want you to promise not to take it back until i learn to ride now see the innocence of the of aaron he says just because he wants to ride the horse he forgets that they have done something wrong for the time being he wants to have the horse and moreover he has sensed that murad had been riding the horse for quite a long time so he also wants to ride it it will take you a year to learn to ride my cousin murad said we could keep the horse a year i said see is innocence my cousin murad leaped to his feet what he roared are you inviting a member of the greglonian family to steal the horse must go back to its true owner when i said in 6 months at the latest he said so he is being very uh, goody goody uh, brother and he says okay we can keep it for 6 months he threw the bird into the air the bird tried hard almost fell twice but at last flew away high and straight so he had uh, helped that injured bird early every morning for 2 weeks my cousin murad and i took the horse out of the barn of the deserted vineyard where we were hiding it and rode it every morning the horse when it was my turn to ride alone leaped over grape vines and small trees and threw me and ran away so even now after two, two weeks he could not manage the horse aram could not manage the horse and every time he tried to ride it all by himself every time he was thrown nevertheless i hoped in time to learn to ride the way my cousin murad rode so he did not give up he was still hopeful of learning one fine morning on the way to fedzwa deserted vineyard we ran into the farmer john byro who was on his way to town let me do the talking my cousin murad said i have a way with the farmers so now this shows that murad is very confident he is very fearless and and like a mature person he would he says that i would tackle the situation Good morning John Byro my cousin Murad said to the farmer the farmer studied the horse eagerly Good morning son of my friends he said what is the name of your horse my heart my cousin Murad said in armenian a lovely name john byro said for a lovely horse i could swear it is the horse that was stolen from me my from me many weeks ago may i look into his mouth of course murad said now murad is very polite because he does not want to invite any trouble and he knows that he has stolen but shows no sign of guilt or fear he looks straight into the eyes of the fear here here the fear is of john byro but he knows he is smart enough and he knows how to wriggle out of every situation so he politely says of course the farmer looked into the mouth of the horse tooth for tooth he said i would swear it is my horse if i didn't know of your parents 
the fame of your family for honesty is well known to me now he says tooth for tooth when he observes the ho horse closely he finds that every particular of this horse resembles the resembles his horse he says it is same as his horse now john byro could recognize his horse he but he did not react he was a very gentle man and not impulsive he says uh, i would swear he is ready to swear that the horse belonged to him but being a mature person he acts very prudently he did not want to put the boys or their family's name to shame so he says the fame of your family for honesty is well known to me yet the horse is the twin of my horse so very politely says well it seems as if this horse is the twin of my lost horse a sus suspicious man would believe his eyes instead of his heart now a suspicious man he says if i had suspected you perhaps i would have said this is my horse well i don't i am not suspicious i don't believe my eyes but i believe my heart now here again it shows that john byro is a very sensible man indeed a sensible man neither did he humiliate or call them names or shouted them he politely said he chooses to believe his heart and not suspect them because he knows their family values so he says no this horse is just a twin of my horse and he leaves by wishing them good day my young friends good day john byro my cousin moraj said early the following morning we took the horse to john byro's vineyard and put it in the barn now john byro left with a greeting with for a good day but this act the way he interacted with them very gently this act made the boys realize that they had done something wrong so early morning they took the horse to john byro's vineyard and put it in the barn the dogs followed us around without making a sound so that means their conscience pricked them and now not to hurt the sentiments of john byro they put the horse back the dogs i whispered to my cousin murad i thought they would bark they would at somebody else he said i have a way with the dogs it very clear, uh, clearly you know confirms that murad is an animal lover my cousin murad puts his arms around the horse pressed his nose nose into the horse's nose patted it and then we went away that afternoon john byro came to our house in the surrey and showed my mother the horse that had been stolen and returned i do not know what to think he said the horse is stronger than ever better tempered too i thank god now john byro has emerged as an as a as an amiable person a courteous fellow you know a man of noble temperament he handles everything so graciously and so gracefully he says that the horse has grown stronger and bad tem better tempered he knows that his horse was stolen by these boys yet he appreciates to the mother and says that his horse has been looked after well he does not mention or disclose who had stolen it and my uncle khusrof who was in the parlor became irritated and shouted quiet man quiet your horse has been returned pay no attention to it so uncle khusrof answers in the same manner and does not let byro continue to speak that brings us to the end of the story so students uh, what do we gather from this story now the young boys had fallen a prey to the temptation though they did not have any ill intention but they used the horse and somehow when they felt that they had done something wrong uh, what helped them come out of it was their family values these values helped them take a decision they knew they could not put their family name at stake so they left the horse to the rightful owner you can say they had very they their thought and action was very clear now secondly if we say 
they felt responsible also because now when the pride and the family pride and honor was at stake they could not go wrong at all we move on to the questions now students well from the supplementary reader you will be asked for short questions as well as long questions you will have two to three short questions to answer and one long question which will be based on the either the theme the plot or the incidents in the lessons and then extrapolate it extrapolate means to relate it to your real life situations so we start with the first question the first says you will probably agree that the story does not have breathless adventure and exciting action then what in your opinion makes it interesting well what makes it interesting is the way william sarion has given an insight into the psyche of the children he's done it in a very simple language in a very simple manner he delves deep into the thoughts the desires the longings of the children how they try to achieve what they can't afford they are poverty stricken then he draws us to understand how they do not forget the pride and honor of their tribe neither do they want to ruin or damage or you can say tarnish the family name then further what makes it interesting is how uncle khusrof conducts himself now the cliched statement that he keeps speaking all the time that adds to the humor in the story then uh, you know through his cliched statement we do feel that he is a man of bad temperament yet his goodness his generosity is reflected through the words of the other character that is aaron's mother so all these things make it interesting question number 2 did the boys return the horse because they were conscience stricken or because they were afraid well this is this asks for your justification if you feel they were conscience stricken why that you have to answer or if you feel they were afraid that was the reason they returned the horse that you must answer this question is for your assignment question number 3 says one day back there in the good old days when i was 9 and the world was full of every imaginable kind of magnificence at life was still a delightful and mysterious dream the story begins in a mood of nostalgia can you narrate some incident from a childhood that might make an interesting story well definitely you would have plenty of stories to narrate so you've already seen your photographs your photographs of your childhood you will remember certain you will recall certain incidents try to recollect some interesting ones and write them down The question number four says the story revolves around characters who belong to the to a tribe in Armenia. Murad and Aram are the members of the Groglanian family. Now locate Armenia and Assyria on the atlas and prepare a write up on the Groglanian tribes. You may write about people, their names, traits, geographical and economic features as suggested in the story. Well, this attempting this question will definitely enhance your knowledge to a great extent. do try this this says to try to show your artistic skills to show your creativity by drawing the horse stood on its hind legs snorted and burst into a fury of speed that was the loveliest thing i had ever seen these lines could be an artist delight try to draw a picture as depicted in the above lines so draw this picture and show your creativity and your artistic skills now students this brings us to the end of the lesson you will have two more questions for the assignment which you will be given through the whatsapp group so thank you